एवरीवन टुडे वी विल डू एक्सरसाइज 1.5 ऑफ यूनिट वन दैट इज नंबर्स एंड नंबर नेम्स एंड दिस एक्सरसाइज इज बेस्ड ऑन सक्सेसर ऑफ अ नंबर प्रिडेसेसर ऑफ अ नंबर कंजेगेटिव नंबर्स एंड स्किप काउंटिंग सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन राइट ऑल नंबर्स लाइन बिटवीन वन थाउजेंड एंड वन थाउजेंड फोर इट मीन्स यू नीड टू जस्ट राइट काउंटिंग फ्रॉम वन थाउजेंड टू वन थाउजेंड फोर सो आफ्टर वन थाउजेंड इट कम्स वन थाउजेंड वन वन थाउजेंड टू वन थाउजेंड थ्री बिकॉज दीज आर दी थ्री नंबर्स विच लाई बिटवीन वन थाउजेंड एंड वन थाउजेंड फोर सो वी डोंट हैव टू इंक्लूड दीज नंबर्स फाइन नेक्स्ट टू थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड थर्टी वन एंड टू थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड थर्टी फाइव so after 2231 next is 2232 2233 2234 so just take care of the last two digits and the number formed by last two digits is 31 and here it is 35 so after 31 next comes 32 33 and 34 now next Six thousand six hundred fifty-nine and six thousand six hundred sixty-three. So here it is fifty-nine. Here it is sixty-three. So after fifty-nine, six thousand six hundred sixty, six thousand six hundred sixty-one, six thousand six hundred sixty-two. Or you can say you need to add one to the given number to write the next number. Counting goes like this. Now next question number two. Write the successor of each of the following numbers. Now. How can we write the successor? Successor means the number which is just next to the given number, number just after the next number, and and how can we get that number by adding one to the given number? So when you will add one here in four thousand five hundred thirty, you will get four thousand five hundred thirty one. Now eight thousand three hundred forty six. Add one here, you will get eight thousand three hundred forty seven. Now eight thousand one hundred fifty two. Add one here, you will get eight thousand one hundred fifty three. So we get successor by just adding one number to the given number because the number which comes just after a given number is called its successor. Now next, write the predecessor of each of the following numbers. Now pre means previous. So how to write the predecessor? So the predecessor is the number which comes just before a given number. Fine. So you need to just subtract one from the given number to write the predecessor of the number. So five thousand six hundred thirty-seven. So the predecessor of this number, or you can say the number just before this number, will be five thousand six hundred thirty-six. And this number you can get by subtracting one from it. Fine. Similarly, eight thousand nine hundred ten. When you will subtract one from it, you will get eight thousand nine hundred nine. Then nine thousand eight hundred ten. Again, subtract one from it, you will get nine thousand eight hundred nine. So this is how you can find the successor and the predecessor of the given number. For writing the successor, we have to add one. For writing the predecessor, we have to subtract one because successor is the number which comes just after the given number, and predecessor is the number which comes just before a given number. Now, next question number four. For each of the following, write next three numbers. Now, seven thousand seven hundred eighty-six. Now, what comes next? Seven thousand seven hundred eighty-seven. Then seven thousand seven hundred. Eighty-eight and then seven thousand seven hundred eighty-nine. Fine. Now part B six thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. So the next number is seven thousand. Then seven thousand one. Then seven thousand two. Next question number five. So counting by twos, write numbers starting from. Seven thousand seven hundred eighty-six. Counting by two means you need to add two to a number to get the next number. When you will add two here, you will get seven thousand seven hundred eighty-eight. When you will add two here, you will get seven thousand seven hundred ninety. When you will add two here, you will get seven thousand seven hundred ninety-two. Similarly, four thousand three. Now add two here, you will get four thousand five. Add two here, you will get four thousand seven. When you will add two here, you will get four thousand nine. Now next question, question number six. 
counting by fives write numbers starting from 3505 now counting by five means you have to add five so add five to this number you will get 3510 then add five here you will get 3515 then add five here you will get 3520 now part b 7913 now you have to add 5 here, you will get 7918. Now add 5 here, you will get 7923. Again add 5 here, you will get 7928. Now you can just do this addition in a rough space, fine. Now next is question number 7. Counting by tens, write numbers starting from here. Now you have to count by tens. It means you have to add 10. So 5210. Add 10 here. You will get 5220. Now add 10 here. You will get 5230. Again add 10. You will get 5240. Again add 10. You will get 5250. Now here again 9318. Add 10, you will get 9,328. Again, add 10, you will get 9,338. Again, add 10, you will get 9,348. Now, add 10 here, you will get 9,358. Now, question number 8. Counting by hundreds, write numbers starting from 4,358. Now, counting by hundreds, it means... We have to add 100 to the given number to write the next number. When we will add 100 here, we will get 4,458. Again, add 100, you will get 4,558. When you will add 100, you will get 4,658. Again, add 100, you will get 4,758. Right? Now, next, 7,019. Now, let's add 100 here. We will get 7,119. Again, add 100. You will get 7,219. Again, add 100. You will get 7,319. Again, add 100. You will get 7,419. Right? Now, question number 9. Counting by thousands... Write numbers starting from 4307. Counting by thousands means you have to add 1000. So, add 1000 here, you will get 5307. Then again, add 1000, you will get 6307. Again, add 1000, you will get 7307. Again, add 1000, you will get 8307. Similarly, part B, let's add 1000 here. In 3718, we will get 4718. Now, let's add again. We will get 5718. Again, when we will add 1000 to this number, we will get 6718. Now, again, add 1000 here. You will get 7718. When you will add 1000 to a given number, you will get the next number. Question number 10. Look at the pattern and write next three numbers. Now, let's observe the pattern. 2513, 2516, 2519. The number is getting increased. And which digit is getting increased? Ones place. Digit at ones place. After 3, it is 6. Then it is 9. It means we have to add 3. 13 plus 3 is 16. Then 16 plus 3 is 19. Then 19 plus 3 will be 22. So, if when we will add 3 to 2519, we will get 2522. Again, add 3, you will get 2525. Again, add 3 here, you will get 2528. Because when you will subtract these two numbers, you can come to know what is the difference between these two numbers. And then you have to add that number to every place to get the next number. Similarly, part B. Here it is 8307, then 7307, then 6307. Here, the thousands place is getting decreased. So, next, it means we have to subtract 
1000 so when we will subtract 1000 from here we will get 5307 then subtract 1000 from here you will get 4307 again subtract 1000 from here you will get 3307 now next question question number 12 write the smallest number of two digits i have told you when we have to write the smallest number we need to use two digits that is 0 and 1 and the smallest two digit number is 10 because the number can't begin with 0 so after 0 next is 1 so the first digit will be 1 and then we will write 0 so it is 10 then smallest three digit number will be 100 smallest four digit number will be 1000 so i hope you all would have understood this exercise Thank you.